Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Eiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive run where I'm trying to survive against an onslaught of chrysalid aliens with triple enemy squad size and nothing but ballistic weapons and armor. Time for Operation Hotter Days where we're taking on a moderate difficult mission mainly to counter the dark event of collateral damage and also I want to get the sweet sweet 73 intel. So the team that I came up with is Taurus uh, who hopefully will finally get a promotion. We need uh, definitely a captain at this point. Haywar and Namri are joining as well so either of them could actually also get the promotion. We got uh, Dark Taranaxus with us wielding the heavy uh, or the light machine gun and since we didn't have another uh, another assault uh, we were putting in mike the public bravo greetings my friend you have uh, immediately been promoted to see some action so let's see if this team can take on the masses of enemies all right we have landed let's take a look well that's pretty far away because there's no opening here Oh boy, that's not an easy task. Moving to designated position. All right, Namri begins to move forward. Time to motor. Taurus moves forward as well. Just trying to see how far can we push in. All right, so one pack already there. Got it. I like this kind of semi-open burger house. Got it. That's a cool new tile. And Dashing. Mike needs to dash up as well. I think we could engage immediately. Triple blinding protocol means they can't move far. And they are disoriented on top of it. How is this going to work? Or isn't it? Can we somehow get it all? Nah, it doesn't appear like it. Let's try to deal with the cover as well as we can. Noxus can still overwatch. Okay, cool. We could hit the sector. Taurus can move forward into flanking position. Still damage. Um, you know, I mean, this year would be a hundred percent kill, so might as well go for that. Switching sides around. Solid six points of damage. Why aren't. Uh, oh, it's sectored soldier. Well, they are not resistant against. Uh, not. 
vulnerable against melee attacks, unfortunately. But what we can do is we can play it safe. And that cleans up the pack as well. We used a few cooldowns on that pack, so it's not really easy. Pretty hard, heavy turret over here. And I saw another pack right there. What are the options to hack? Oh, gain control of an enemy. Well, how about we're fail saving that and are continuing to hack? That sounds like an awesome idea. Let's get a random enemy for one turn. For two turns, actually. Look who has a super heavy turret. Nice hit. Love it. There's another pack back here. And the turret is going to town with these guys. Good, listen. So. We're moving up here. Actually pushing forward. All of this is full cover so we can't see through it. That turret will soon not be our friend anymore. So what I would want to do is rush forward. We're going to use a frag grenade in order to kill the turret. It's the fastest way of getting rid of it. And we are taking full cover out of line of sight. Time to mop him up. Sectored soldier moves to his friends. Not a problem. Memory ensures us that this is not a problem. gone which is exactly what I was hoping we would achieve we need to get closer to the target Hayward can try to hack it full cover as we oh 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 All right, that changes things a little bit. Solid copy. Come get some. Overwatch here. What, what's over there? Taurus moves up <clears throat> in the hopes of getting another Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Adjusting aim. Stun Lancer does his dirty business. Ah, 
Ouch. Namri took a full hit. Not great. Protocol. What's our chance of Haywire protocoling it? So and so, so and so. going to do the safe route which is deal damage cool hand over teamwork teach this guy lesson Heal up memory. Get rid of the sectored soldiers, Overwatch. And just generally make him weaker. Might need to shut it down. Problem is, we're flanked. That's a lot of damage if the guy really uh, will start to hit us. At the same time, we need to push forward. Should have done that one first Not a good uh, outlook. Copy that. Fifty fifty for a kill. The frag grenade could not kill. Well, of course, I could also deal minimum damage, in which case, it's not fifty fifty. This is going to hurt. Too close to the heat. I'm hit. We need to get in there. Difficult. Okay, I'll go. Settle down, you're fine. All right, Hayward needs to sprint. I need her actions a little bit later. This is barely flanking this guy. Finally. 
Hayward moves up. Is it clear? Which gives us a clearer line of sight to hopefully kill this guy. Air trigger, not bad, not great either. No cover here, and we can't throw that far, which sort of lets us to re uh, reload an overwatch and just hope that the guy is not going to hit. Of course, uh, we're being hit in full cover plus overwatch. Uh, full cover plus aim reduction. That would be great. And that's 40 uh, bonus intel. I think we're going for intel because we really need that. We confirm successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. <sighs> Go on. Fifty fifty. Mike moves over. What, what's over there? Taurus moves up. Use our You're last fine. med kit. Nemery uses our last grenade. Is this particular soldier seems very adamant to stay there, and with the poison, I think he's dead. Status confirmed. All right, fantastic. All down and the area is Not an easy mission. Not an easy mission at all. It's just difficult to go through that many hit points in seven turns and then um, the length of the actual uh, the actual mission also made it quite difficult so Nemri needed to sprint all the way there and just barely made it in time cool we got Sergeant Dark Tower Naxos, ever vigilant, automatically enters Overwatch if you only took movement actions. Pin him down. Suppression abilities will disorient targets, further reducing their effectiveness and preventing them from using many abilities. That's great. Okay, well, I think it's clear what we're going to take. Splinter Armor is at absolutely mandatory we have no one else that could do that at this point Hello, Commander. in terms of just getting that crucial extra promotion we got a few sergeants but none of them is turning out to make it to captain at the moment let's continue building that radio relay we're up to 80 intel which means afterwards we can expand further towards the th uh, south commander the aliens continue to make progress on the avatar signals coming through clear lots and lots of extra oh well, of course we're running out of contacts let's get some loot that could be pcs's for instance 
Yeah, unfortunate. We need to get more contacts. Typically, if you run out of contacts early, the game on the strategy layer will give you more contacts to scan for. Interchangeable upgrades are important. I don't want to miss that one. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I have. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out cool. there? Cool. 20% extra research doesn't really help us at they this point. Another construct of alien genetic temper. The science is eager to begin, Commander. We had some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert action. With a few days rest, they'll be ready to get back into it. Our unified resistance continues to learn a great deal about these chosen that pursue us. Slowly well, we don't have a lot of soldiers that could help here. Commander, my followers and your people continue to grow in skill. And now I think Anderson is the right uh, call. Let's prevent uh, let's prevent uh, getting injured. There is an ambush chance. So Hogbite with two rookies seems a bit much for that. Let's get a Aaron on the case. And Hogbite I think is fine. Good, I'm just trying to increase our influence at this point. We got ourselves Carabinero, who is now promoted to another field medic. I like it. I'll take that. Good, so what are we looking at? We need more assaults, three field medics, we need more marines, and more tech specialists, but yeah, assaults, definitely. Definitely, got another field medic almost done. Cool, advanced scope is great, advanced speed is fantastic as well. Can't make contact at the moment. What's the best course of action? I mean, we could try to build faster. It's not going to Im uh, impact the excavation, so might as well just get into that's more efficient than using the intel on the globe uh, on the uh, globe here and we got ourselves the supply rate at our hands which is not bad either so if we look at by the way the pcs's advanced speed uh, we can we could put that hawkbot would definitely benefit from it We might want to look for options for that advanced scope as well. I think the sniper comes with a scope. Maybe we're putting it onto a uh, onto a heavy gun for one of uh, the uh, for one of the gunners, the marines. So say if we had a cannon here as a loadout. 10% would mean a lot better chances to hit. I think that's a good idea. Not a bad one.
Okay, so far that's fine. Who gets the speed is the question. Lyrical already has the hit points. I think the tech specialist can benefit from it. Having that extra mobility is going to make our hacking easier. Cool, which brings us to the end of this episode. If you have a personal uh, combat sim speed uh, installed as well, then rapidly click the like button and see you in two days. Bye-bye.